Hi, my name is Tony Parker. I'm going to do a very quick tutorial on looping particles. The particle generator I'm going to use is by Red Giant called Trapcode Particular. It has a lot of amazing features built into it. One that I like the most is having light affect the particles and also using a shading effect. Great for creating realistic dust as an example with a lamp. So I'm going to use that one. There's one that's built in to After Effects called CC Particle World. That is also a excellent particle generator. I'm just going to focus on particular because I use that the most. First thing I'm going to do is create a composition and I'm going to call this particles. I'm going to use a preset that I have. This is what I use for creating worship backgrounds and uh, basically just motion backgrounds. It's 1280 by 720 square pixels. 30 frames a second and 34 seconds for my duration. That's important because at the end result, I'm going to have 20 seconds. That's why I have it starting out here at 34 seconds. Now I'm going to create a solid inside of this composition. I'm going to call the sol solid particles one. Make sure it's the comp size. And I'm going to add the particular effect to my solid. The only thing I'm going to focus on here is the particles per second. That is it. I'm not going to focus on anything else inside of the particle generator. There, like I said, there's a lot of amazing features. I'm just going to focus on the uh, particles per second under the emitter. The reason why is because when you start out on the uh, generator, it is nothing, and then particles are born. Once it, once it's uh, full blown here it is emitting 100 particles a second. It looks like it's happening around four seconds, but I'm gonna bring this to 14 seconds, mainly because I wanna be sure that it's, uh, that they're completely generated. And also I might manipulate the uh, particle life, right? So I can go into particles here and mess around with that. So I just like to, to have 34 seconds and then bring it 14 seconds into my timeline. It gives me a little bit more room for creativity on my particles. So now I'm at 14 seconds. I just did 14 colon, brought me right to the 14 second marker. I clicked off the solid and I'm gonna do control eight. I'm working on a Mac here. So I have put a marker on my composition timeline. Now I'm going to put a marker on the solid. So I click on the solid, I do control eight. Now I have a marker on my solid. I'm gonna duplicate my solid. It actually should have changed the name, but that's okay, we'll do that and I have it as particle two. Now I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna drag this solid all the way to the end of the timeline, the marker to the end of the timeline. So I zoomed all the way in, I don't want it to, to go past, and I don't want it to be a frame before, so I want it to be right on the end of the timeline. I'm gonna bring my zoom in about halfway. I'm gonna hit the I key. The I key will bring me to the beginning of this solid. Now I'm going to click on particles one, my original particles, and I'm gonna hit the stopwatch on particles per second. Now I'm gonna move just one frame forward. How you can do that on a Mac is command right arrow. So now I've moved one frame. If I zoom in here, you will see, oops, zoom in, you will see that I have just moved one frame. Now I'm gonna take that from 100 to zero and I'm done. I can, I can look at this by hitting you and you will see that uh, I have my marker set on the, the first frame, the beginning of the solid. I went one frame over and then there's my second one which shows the uh, particles per second to be now zero. All right, so uh, last thing to do here is, I'm gonna zoom out here so I can drag it, my work area. I'm gonna drag this over to my 14 second mark where I have my marker. Again, I wanna zoom in. I wanna be sure that I am not a frame before or a frame after. That's amazing. I'm right on the money here, so that's good. And I can now do a RAM preview. I can just do control zero on my Mac. Let's let it completely generate here. It should be pretty quick because I'm not doing anything fancy even though I have it at full, uh, full resolution my quality as full. Okay, so let me zoom back out here so you can see it go from the beginning to the end. And because I wanna make this quick, we'll go to 32. 
Uh, you'll notice it's not it's showing not uh, not in real time here. It's pretty darn close to real time. It's uh, 28 frames uh, per second, but you get the idea that it is completely seamless. There is no hiccup here in the loop. Now you can do all kinds of other creative stuff. I mean, you can mess around with opacity over life, but here is your looped particle. Last thing to do here to clean all this up because we want to keep this composition. We might be, you know, uh, we might have created dust and then now we're going to apply this to a room or to a particular scene. So I'm going to take this composition, I'm going to trim it to the work area and voila, I'm done. If I go look at the composition settings, you'll see now that it is at 20 seconds. So we are good. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. It was very helpful to you. Have a wonderful day.